Hi guys, welcome back. Hope you're having a fabulous day. Um, I decided that this would be a perfect time to do a what's in my bag video. I just bought this wonderful Louis Vuitton purse from Poshmark about, I want to say, um, it's been about a month. So I figured that since, you know, it's been a whole month since I've been using this purse, that this would be a great time to film a what's in my bag. A matter of fact, I don't even know if I ever um, filmed a what's in my bag video before. So I think this might actually be my first what's in my bag. So if you'd like to see more of what is inside my Louis Vuitton Speedy 30 Bandolier and Demi Air Up In, then keep on watching. Okay, so let's get right into it. Like I said, um, this is a recent purchase. I bought this bag for my birthday as a gift to myself. And I did buy it pre-loved on Poshmark and I'm absolutely loving it. I'm very happy with the bag so far. I did find out that this bag was made in 2016, which is about two to three years ago. Um, so it is a fairly new bag and it's in great condition. This is what it looks like. I'll just give you a view of the outside of the bag before we see what's inside. 30 centimeters across here. And after wearing this bag for a whole month, I will say that this bag is amazing for if you're traveling. Um, I do also wear it every day. Um, not necessarily every day, but I wear it on the weekends. So this is now my weekend bag. I just don't feel comfortable taking this to work just yet. So the environment that I work in, um, I just don't feel comfortable at the moment. So maybe my next job, you know, I will use this as a work bag. But for now, I wear it on the weekends and I'm absolutely loving it. As far as bag charms go, I have the lock as a bag charm here. I have this Hello Kitty charm that I'm loving. I actually bought this many years ago um, knowing that I was going to put it on this bag when I bought this bag. So I did buy this many years ago, um, knowing that, not knowing when, but knowing eventually I would get this bag and put it on here as a bag charm. So he, the day has come and I am now able to wear this as a bag charm for this bag. So my dream has come true. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, I also have a hand sanitizer here that I got at Walmart. It has a little donut, a little chocolate donut. Um, and I do refill it. So I'm loving that as well. All right, so without further ado, let's get into what's inside the bag. I did order a purse organizer off of Amazon.com. I did not get the Samorga um, organizer just yet. Reasons being, one, the price, which is not that expensive. However, I found this one for much cheaper and I liked the pockets inside, so I will show you that as well. This is gonna be a long video, so get your snacks, your drink, um, you know, do what you gotta do. Go to the bathroom, come back. This is gonna be a full-blown, involved video, in-depth. So, <clears throat> that being said, um, Samorga Purse Organizer, um, more expensive um, it also takes a while it takes a couple months to arrive we just recently got the Amazon Prime um, as a Christmas present for the family here at this house so this one you know was gonna arrive in two days versus a couple months I like the pockets and I'm very happy with this organizer in this bag so let's open up the bag excuse me I'm sniffling Whew. Let's open up the bag and I'm just gonna show you just a shot of what it looks like before I take everything out. As you can see, my mini pochette is like right on top. I do store it in one of the pockets, which I will do in another shot so you can see how that looks. But this is the bag open. Um, lots of room. And I will say with the purse organizer, there is less room in the bag, which is okay because if you're you know, wearing it every day, you don't necessarily need to carry around a lot of things and you want them organized anyway. Um, if you are traveling and you need to put a lot more stuff in, I would take the organizer out before your trip. 
um, to put as much as you can in the bag. And I'll also explain what I cannot fit in this bag because the organizer's in there. So I'm gonna just take this mini pochette and put it where I normally would so you can see where that would go. And that would go right here. Stuff that in there. This usually is on the side, but like I said, I just came back from running errands, so it was on top. And there's a little better view of what it looks like inside with the purse organizer. So very neat, very organized. I am super happy with the purse organizer. And if you like a review of it, I can do a separate video. I will leave the link below to the um, the Amazon seller that I bought it from. I will leave the Amazon link below, just so if you are interested in buying this specific organizer, um, that will be there as well. So without further ado, and all my rambling, let's get to what's inside. <clears throat> First off, I'm just gonna grab, we did talk about my mini pochette, which is here. I've had this for years. This is my first Louis Vuitton purchase that I ever bought. Um, so this started it all. And inside right now are just earbuds. I tend to use this as a wallet and as a wristlet. When I'm running errands, I'll just take this and go and I'll put my cards and everything in here. Um, so this has been with me for many years now and I do not know what my life would be like without it. Next up, and there's a little personal pouch in here that actually can come out. Um, I will take it out just so I can show you what's inside of it. So it has this pouch that's removable, which I like as well. It has a zipper. So this is also turning into a purse organizer review video, which is fine by me, but um, it has these little Velcros on the side so that it can stay in the bag or you can take it out if need be to have more room as well. But in here are just some personal items. This is actually turning into a cosmetic catch-all. Um, I don't surprisingly wear much makeup nowadays, so there's not really makeup in it, but I have my Smile Direct retainer case. I'll do a review on that later. Um, personal products, feminine products. I always have at least one or two of these in my bag no matter what, because you just never know. Never know. I even when you think you know, sometimes you don't. Put it that way. Anyway, a um, little wet wipe. You know, I like to have these too, just in case. Lipstick, this is what I have on right now. This is Charlotte Tilbury and Very Victoria. <clears throat> Beautiful color, very natural looking nude. So I, whatever lipstick I'm wearing, I always carry with me. Um, just a random ultra repair cream from First Aid Beauty, just because I always like to have some kind of cream in my bag. A moisturizer, if you will. My Chanel Coco Mademoiselle um, Travel Perfume. This is my favorite perfume right now of all time. And some cough drops because the past couple months I've been really sick and I have been working around kids and as a result um, have had to cut, uh, get over a couple colds the past couple months. So that's why I have cough drops. I've been buying them in bulk. I also have, this is something I just started carrying. I normally don't carry deodorant with me. Um, but this is the Pharmacy Freshen Up. Um, I love this, this is all natural deodorant. And, um, you know, I like touching up throughout the day because it is all natural. Um, normally don't carry deodorant, but this is just, you know, just in case, because it is a natural one, I like to carry it just to have it with me. Um, this is another catch-all. This is a Sephora pouch that I got um, when I worked there. A little while back, not too long ago, but about a year ago. Um, Advil, always carry this with me just in case. My favorite lipstick is Discontinued by NARS. It's a Sarah Moon in Indecent Proposal. Lip liner slash eyeliner. Fenty liquid lipstick. This does not budge, so I always have it with me if I'm wearing this. I like to have it too. Mini chapstick, it's so cute. Look at how cute it is. I find myself reaching for this a lot, surprisingly. Hair tie that has a lot of hair on it. And that's all that is in this catch-all. So this is really the cosmetic pouch, more so than 
this one. This is some other like personal feminine product type thing. Um, so that's another pouch. <clears throat> In the compartments, I also have, I haven't opened this yet, but I'm actually using a Mentos uh, jug of gum in my work bag so this is a just in case and it fits perfectly in this little slot here so this is the extra long lasting flavor spearmint excuse me um this is unopened but you know if i'm using this bag and i need gum i will be opening this and i love this i've, I've seen this on youtube a lot it, it's like a plastic case that flips open um, so I, I like that, so I, that's why I grabbed it. So I can reuse it for other things or just put more gum in it. There's a slot for a water bottle here. So this is the perfect size water bottle for this bag. So I always have one of these. My eyeglass case can't be without this. I don't know where the eyeglasses are right now, but um, this is just a random eyeglass case and I always put my glasses in here and keep them with me in case one of my contents falls out or comes out or it, you know needs to come out because it's dry. I always carry that with me too. I also just recently got this from Amazon. This is a purse uh, holder where you can hang your purse if you're out. I haven't had to use this yet but I will. It's Hello Kitty. If you didn't know, I love Hello Kitty. So when I found this online, I was over at the moon and it hangs like this. So when the time is right, I will use this. I haven't had two yet, but that's in there. <clears throat> I also normally keep my phone in this little pocket here. And what else is in here? My iPad is in here, which was in the front. So if I am traveling I'll bring my iPad with me but if I'm like out going to the mall or something I won't bring this with me because I won't be using it so only if I'm traveling I carry that with me and without further ado I have my Chanel Zippy coin purse I believe this is called got this at Neiman Marcus a couple years back and this just holds all my cards right now card in here of course always keep that in there ID and just like debit cards and if I have cash I do keep it I usually keep it in this um, but for now it's actually in this Sephora case that I got as a point perk which I really love it's like a round it has a keychain it has these little keychains one has uh, the lips on it I like that a lot. And this, usually I just put all my coins. I'm taking a break from the Easy Pass, so I keep coins with me for tolls. My cash is in here. It's usually in the other pouch, and I do have debit cards. I was running out and didn't want to bring my Louis Vuitton stuff, so I just put my debit card and cash in this and ran out the door with this. So that's that. And that completes what's in my bag. I will show you this and oh wait there's something else in here and this is just um, I always usually break nails like I say I normally don't have my nails done and they're just natural so they're always breaking so I always carry this with me because I always, most of the time I need to clip my nails when they crack and without further ado this is what the inside looks like with the bag organizer I'm gonna take it out just so you can see it you want you to see it by itself on its own. Set this here for just a sec. Um, this is what the bag organizer looks like. I do still have the tag on this. Let's see if we can find it. This brand is called ETTP and that's the tag. I left the tag on just to, you know, I just bought it so I just wasn't sure if I was going to be happy with it or not. And so far I am very happy with it. Um, I like the zipper compartment here. I love this water bottle compartment here. I put my water bottle wherever that went. There's so much stuff here, I can't even find it. Oh, here it is. It fits perfectly in here, like so. I love that about this. Um, I, like I said, my phone normally goes in this little pocket right here. And 
I do have business cards in here too. I didn't see these. I, I have some business cards in here. Um, I'm also a makeup artist, so these are my business cards. And this thing is handy. As you can see, the cough drops are still in there, but this zippers up and you can either take it out or leave it in and I'll just show you what it looks like in. If you would like a full review of this purse organizer, feel free to comment below. So yeah, that's how that looks. So I'm gonna go ahead and put everything back in the bag. I will show you the bag empty, just so you can get an idea. I feel like there's something else in here. I hear it. Maybe not. Okay. Bottomless pit. <clears throat> so this is what the bag looks like empty, if you have not seen it. Beautiful red interior. D-ring is here. I do hook my mini pochette or my pochette, um, the new model on this D-ring. I do usually do that sometimes just if I want it more secure. Yeah, and it has a pocket here that I use once in a while. It's, you know, every once in a while I'll put something in there. For now, it's just chilling, it's empty. And that's that. Before I put everything back in my bag, I did want you guys to see um, the purse organizer with everything in it, just so that you can see how functional this purse organizer is. <clears throat> I feel like the way I'm talking about this purse organizer, you'd think I work for this company, but I promise you I don't. I'm just over the moon about it. So I just wanted to show you briefly what that is like. So. This is what it looks like filled. As you can see, everything is perfectly in its own little perfect spot. And I love that I can just throw my phone in this little side pocket and then I always know where to, you know, where it is. But yeah, so that's what everything looks like in the purse organizer. And once again, I hope you enjoyed this video and until next time.